All right, and we are live. So greetings and salutations, people of the internet, and welcome to the bar. I am Sippy Cup, your humble bartender and entertainer for whatever time of day it happens to be for you. And welcome to Sippy's First Drink. If you're unfamiliar with Sippy's First Drink, what we do here is I have a variety of games that I try out for 30 to 60 minutes apiece. And then I offer you my unfiltered first impressions review. So our next game up is Project Grove Prologue. There's a fuller game for this. This looks to be, uh, from what I've seen, a first-person platformy kind of game. Um, I am happy to say that the settings update that I, that I did for the stream seems to have worked because it doesn't look like a bag of ass anymore. So uh, what you're missing out on, if you're seeing this on video, is I had to stop the stream, adjust my settings, and restart the stream to record this because the bitrate settings were causing it to be janky as all hell. Um, we're all good now, it would appear. And so... Even if we weren't, though, this game, unlike a previous, some previous games that I've played, actually has graphic settings adjustments that I can do. Um, but anyway, let's go take a look at, at what this game is is all about. It's already with with the music; it seems quite nice. Um, if this is indeed what I think that it is, which is a a first person platformy adventure kind of game, um, I'm going to opt. for for mousey keyboard uh but because what i have previously seen was this was a, a platformy adventure kind of thing so let's give it a shot as with always timer right here doesn't start until the end of the opening cutscene the downside with a bunch of the screen screenshots that i saw is oh dear for eight years the empire has been Ravaged by a mysterious plague from the west, a great rot has touched all strata, imperial society, princes, peasants, industrialists, and alchemists. Even the jugglers have not been spared. Potius and Co. were tasked with investigating the forest of Dacrama, which according to various men in pubs, was the likely origin of the rot. They called the expedition... Project Grove. At Potentium's behest, Alchemist Epidictate journeys to the forest. His mission investigates the potential Dacrimas, floor in creating a cure, and unlike previous candidates, not die. Right. Let's get on with this. Okay. Let me go ahead and start our timer. Uh, sound seems right there. Hello. The food provisions are awful. I wonder if I could brew a potion to sate my hunger. Good morning, Edric. Are you ready for the first day of this expedition? Are you? Did you right seriously then, use my mission? Dangerous as it is urgent is to study the rare flora that grow here in Dacrima. Document them, analyze Oh shit. That! Eventually curing the disease. A worthy task for my alchemic acumen. That was quite the exposition, Dump Edric. Potentium have left us a briefing that may help us initialize our I can't adventure. believe what they uh -huh. used. Well, I probably should Microsoft take a speak at it. Although, where did I leave it? Okay. Um I stopped the timer and I'm restarting the timer because that little bit of exposition seems uh an unfair start. Don't touch that saxophone, Elpin. I don't want to end up ringing that HR woman again. Graphically, it doesn't look too bad. It also doesn't seem to be eating up too many re- Oh my god, that was a lie. It is eating up some resources. It's fucking dark. Uh, can I fix that? Uh, options. Nope. 
Nope, I cannot. So there is no brightness. Okay. That's, that's awesome. You know, I've absolutely no idea what this machine does. It saves the game, so if you die. Absolutely no idea. I collected that thing. The briefing is printed on paper, not Dangleberry's Edric. Yes, yes, I know. Well, I should definitely keep an eye out for similar samples to this when we're out in the forest. Okay. Uh, there we go. Trying to collect ah, things. Okay. Of course it's here. You I'd found a use for it. Aerial surveillance of the landing area has observed two areas of interest. A strange statue ruin west of the landing zone and a rod infected infection to the east surrounding a dead tree. Uh, a bot in sent to initially investigate suffered deep related damages uh, deep related damages and returned no substantial intelligence other than alchemic readings that suggest a possible proximity to flora magica human investigation was not possible at the time as jerry made a joke about it being a bad l deer and i had to inject eject him from the plane potentium recon pilot uh, so rot to the east Surrounding and a strange statue to the west. Indicates two rot infected locations and a possible flora magic nearby. Should we investigate? Yeah. Y yeah, I guess. I discovered Dacrima, and why is this wobbling so fucking much? That is not a bird. That is a stingray in the sky. Like a space whale. Lots of games do shit with space whales. This one did some shit with a space uh, sky stingray. Which I kind of love, because I love stingrays. Stingrays are, are such cool fucking creatures. Oh! And speaking of space whales, there we go. Fucking space whale. I'm actually quite into it. Going down. You know, I've already forgotten what we're doing. Me too. you've marked the details of the expedition in your journal. Tab to use journal. Yep. Uh, use tab to use your compass and journal. That is one. What the fuck was that? Marvelous. Just what I was looking for. I found a save point. Neat. Love it. The fact that it's not taking itself at all seriously, but also kind of being serious, is kind of awesome. So I'm collecting these botanicals. I'll keep hold. Um, because I have gathered enough botanicals to brew a potion as one of my quests. Uh, so I'm gonna keep gathering these botanicals. Also, I'm going to try and... Straight into the back. This will come in handy. Uh, tab? Um, what? Tab. I. I can't do anything. Everything is broken all of a sudden. Everything is broken all of a sudden. There we go. 
stop. Okay. Um. See, so yeah, I I've been collecting all of these fruits. Now, did I just get hurt by that thing that's been rolling? Ah, okay, so I can't jump that high. Interesting. I'll keep hold of this. Hello. Moo. Why did the deer moo? I don't know, but it's some cool golden frothy Do I have... I do. I have enough to brew a potion, so... Landmark. Deer person statue discovered. Hold and release to direct L pin. Scanning your entries unlocks codex. Cool. This L pin is the work of the old ones. The people... That lived in Dakrima nearly a thousand years ago. Note the location of the statue. I may wish to return here later to study this further. Dear Lady Statue Thing Position noted. I. Just what I was looking for. Okay. I'm gonna go towards the other. Um. The other thing. Um, I'm hoping that, hello, I'm hoping that my jump has improved. This will come in handy. Oh lord, this is a bad idea. Interesting. Collected mithril. I can research minerals, such as mithril. I... Uh... Okay. I... Save that. I don't know what the... Uh-oh, it's doing it again. There we go. It's doing this weird thing from time to time where it doesn't want to collect. I, these guys was helping show signs of geological rot infection. I may be able to use them for the right potion. Okay, so I need a potion to be able to do anything with that. How do I brew potions? Um, info. Since one of my things is brew a pro... pro br okay. I've gathered enough... To brew a potion, so I guess I'm supposed to go back. I'm a straight into the pack. Collect enough stuff to make this a second piece. potion. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. I guess I'm not going to collect enough stuff to make a second potion. Maybe I, I still have a little bit. Um, this is perfect. I don't seem to have like the the common tropey <laughs> things for uh, survival sim, so I don't think that this is one of those. I don't think it is. 
but I'm not sure. I hope that it's not. Marvelous. Two hundred. Okay, cool. Let's let's go back to uh, back to the, back to the ship. Of course, I do have an appreciation for the steampunk flair that this all seems to have. I'm detecting the winch is over its weight capacity. What are you suggesting? <sighs> that I'm a fatty. I'm supposed to find and scan the rotten tree, but, um... Brew potions. Click one of the question marks to select ingredients from your inventory. You'll need two. potions why why inventory I collected so much more than that okay so what do I do Brew potions. It won't let me brew a potion. Transmute all. Understands. I'm fucking confused right now. I. Um. All right. So I guess I find and scan the rotten tree then. Did I just lose all of the things that I had gotten to create a potion without actually creating the damn potion? Is that the rotten tree over there? It looks like a rotten tree. I'm assuming it's a rotten tree. That's the rotten tree. the robustness of alchemic infections. The way they can affect everything from cats to petunias to this great tree set before us. Aren't you worried about getting infected, Edric? A moot point, Elpin, as I'll be synthesizing a cure very shortly, no doubt. Edric, I'm detecting alchemic readings up on the ridge, a possible flora magica. Okay, so go towards the exclamation point. Find a way to the flora. Sure. Might need a hand. Okay. Hey. Oh, look at that. Just what I was looking for. I'll collect that. 
Marvelous. Uh, there, I guess. I'll collect that. Um, this will come in handy. I don't like that. Uh. Yeah. This mana glyph seems connected to the Flora Magica. Most irregular. Don't touch the glyph, Elkin. Let's survey the Flora first. I won't work my magic just yet. Nope. I touched the glyph. I touched the glyph. No. There. I'll take that, whatever that is. Some more for the stock. Oh, oh, oh no. I need you back here, buddy. I... Okay, so uh I don't know. That's no. Can I climb this? Nope. That's not helpful. Um. Find a way up to the flora. So that's an excellent question. Hey, let me out the way before you open that thing. Um, how? I'm a dum dum. Whoop. Hey. Uh, go this way. Edric, do ah. you need assistance? No, I should be quite all right. Though. Well, I figured that one out already. Yes, uh, do the umbrella thingy, Hey. What? Why aren't you... Oh, there you go. Hey. He won't open if I'm, like, right there. Apparently. Hey. Hey. I'm not a fan of, like... Hey. The, oh, God, why? Why would you do that? While I'm jumping... That's fucking so not okay. Extraordinary. A natural alchemic barrier. This species has never exhibited such a capacity before. The records in the briefing do not detail it as glowing red. The influence of the rot, I suspect. A debilitating malady in men, it seems to be enhancing this flora magic. How will we gather a sample with this barrier in place? Perhaps we can root out the problem. Par, 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 par. I don't like that I can't adjust my jump in flight. Oh. What was that, Edric? An old trick for shoring up malfunctioning glyphs. Babble and incantation. Try not to catch fire. There appears to be a second glyph powering this barrier. Was that the sky whale that sang so beautifully? Oh, 
I don't know if I just got hurt by what I did. It sounded like I made a crunching land. I did get hurt, but my health comes back slowly. Hey. Uh, uh. Hey. Oh, hey, get get going. Come on, yeah. Uh, I don't like the way that we have to do this. Scan complete. Sample retrieved. What is your plan, Edric? I, I don't know. Flora sample back on the ship. I'm going to combine it with this one and test the resulting push. Are we we actually gonna figure out how to do potions now? Hey. 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 Oh, what's this? Collect it and just collect all the things that I can. I'm in danger. I can, so I find it funny now, but I can see that becoming super annoying over time. I just did a lot of damage to myself. That hurt me bunches. Ah, crap. I need... Go way down. I'm in. I'm fucked. Let me out the way before you open that thing. Yeah, I'm in. This is gonna hurt. Oh god, that almost killed me. But my health comes I'm back slowly. The winch is over its weight capacity. What are you suggesting? Is it gonna tell me that joke every fucking time? Now, let's grab those Flora Magica ingredients. Okay, that. How do I? Why, what, what am I doing? Why won't it do the thing? E, I, nope. Click one of the question marks to select ingredients. You'll need two. Combine. Seriously. Make an aether color to as okay. Green. Brew. Oh, you have to click. Oh, my bubbles. 
all of my bubbles. My bubbles. Eureka! A potion. Smells lovely too. Will this cure the rot? That remains to be seen. My plan is to see how this potion reacts against rot-fused parts of the forest. Okay. You mean the red spiky things? Indeed, Elpin. Like those geysers like the... we passed earlier. Yes, this expedition just geysers, not geysers. We should notify Potentium of the distillation of this potion. Okay, so I can sleep. Oh, interesting. This is Professor Edric Tate reporting in. Mr. Tate, what a pleasure it is to speak to you again. Quite the start you're off to. That bubble eight potion sounds very hum potent. How is it handling? Remarkably Microsoft steep. voice. Packs a pop. Smells like April the 25th. The will need more time to test it against rot-fused elements in the forest. Rather specific. Well, we're just bursting to see more data from it. We've begun building a codex of everything we find. When we have sufficient data, we'll send it over. Hmm. They yes. could. Well. That does sound useful, Mr. Tate, but do remember our focus is on the potions. Oh my god, by which the voice of course I, I mean a cure. Don't let yourself become distracted, you naughty boy. Ciao, what? ciao. Th I'm sorry. Years old. I'm a naughty boy. Is that what you meant by steamier, Edric? I should brew him in the hot knot. Ciao, ciao. Ah. Sorry, the, the, the use of Microsoft Voice as their voice actors is hilarious. Ah, the bubblate potion. A very difficult potion to get right. It Ow! If brewed improperly, the bubble could become unbreakable, restricting the oh. air supply and leading to a rather unpleasant death, not to mention a ridiculously spherical coffin. Uh, scan that. Scan complete. What is it? Let me out the way before you open that thing. What, what is this? Oh lord! Ow. No, but what is this? Uh, tab? What the fuck is that thing that I just picked up? the thing that I just picked up. I, I look, okay. What am I also supposed to be doing now? Oh God. I have no idea where I'm going with this. Great.
Boingy. Oh, I see. Right there. Okay, uh, can I please? Oh. Hey, I opened that door. Which I guess was what I was trying to do all along. Okay, that wasn't as awesome as I was hoping. So interest move interesting movement mechanic. I can't tell. I have a little bit of steering ability. A little bit, but not a whole hell of a lot. Yes, okay, so I do have some ability to steer. Ow, 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 okay. I don't know how I'm supposed to get up to the door that I just opened. Um, I'm, I'm guessing that's what I'm supposed to do. Why is it shift though? That seems really odd. Like, to do this is shift. Of all the buttons. So the bubble keeps me somewhat protected. I'm in the trees now. Oh god. The bubble keeps me somewhat protected from fall damage. But I'm not really sure where I'm supposed to do go and what I'm supposed to do from here. I'm I'm kind of lost as to I mean to be quite blunt what is the point of this now Okay found another one of these And no idea where the fucking thing is for it. So there's... The doors will have a, a flower. that I apparently have to unlock with this thing. Um. Ah, there it is. I, um, cool. I can't get out of the water. Okay. I saw the thing. There it is. There's a thing that I need to get to. I... 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 
Okay. this is working. That's bad. That's bad. Yep. Okay. You know what? Oh, cool. You know, it'd be awesome as if my bubble floated. There we go. Yes, I know to use the... Why can't I... No, I want to... It won't let me open my menu at all. There. Okay. Jesus, that. Nope. Okay. Let's let's talk about this one. I'm I'm about done with this one. Um so Let's let's talk about all of the things. The graphics look quite nice. Um, the idea is interesting. A first person kinda adventure platformy game. That's that's interesting. It's not bad. Um, it's on Unreal 4, so the graphics look as good as Unreal 4 can do. Um, it's kinda eating up my GPU and CPU. Well, actually, it's heating up my CPU for reasons, and I don't know why. Um, it, and I have I have a thirty series, so I don't know why it's causing this much uh, this much issue for for you know uh, a game should not be eating up my thirty series this badly. Um, I mean, it's not bad, um, and it might be a combination of the game and streaming it that's causing the issue. Um, but graphically, it's nice. Uh, the sound design is pretty good. Um, I find a, a great deal of hilarity that there's only one voice actor, and the rest of the voice acting is done by Microsoft Speak. Uh, like, you, you didn't have any... It is going to sound super mean, but you didn't have any friends that you could get to read those lines. But okay. Um, the, uh, the potioning system to, to build your new potions. I'm assuming that the more potions you create, the more movement tech you're going to get to have and all that. Um, that's kind of cool, but it's, it's not very straightforward in how that functions um and and could be explained a little bit better uh the movement itself feels okay but it doesn't feel like i have any control so like you're wanting me to do this platforming not platforming but flying stuff uh to get to another area so that I can shove uh, uh, the little ball thing in the little ball holder thing to open up a door thing, but um, I can't maneuver in the air to that door, um, so I don't know how to progress. And it would take me a lot of time, a lot more time than I'm willing to sink into this, to better be able to fly, uh, basically, because that's what I'm doing. I'm not. I'm no longer platforming. I'm. I'm trying to fly. Um, so that's interesting, but it's not interesting enough. And I feel like it, at, at this point, where I've reached in the game, and this is just the prologue, mind you. So there's a full game for this. Um, at this point in it, I don't feel compelled to 
play anymore. I, I don't see what the point is in playing anymore. So, uh, it's functional though. It's, it's not a terrible game. It's functions as a game. I just don't feel compelled to play it anymore. Um, so that one's going to get probably a six out of 10 from me. Um, like I said, it's a functional game. The sound design is good. The, the voice acting is hilarious because it's done on Microsoft speak or, or whatever. Um, but I, I don't see the direction and I don't feel compelled to keep playing it. Uh, so yep, that's, and that's really upsetting to me because I love the aesthetic, the steampunk aesthetic. I, I absolutely love it, but I don't feel compelled to, to do any more with it. It's, it's not giving me enough reason to keep playing. Um, but that's, that's it. Six out of 10. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Let me know down in the comments below. Um, also check me out on my various other social media at Sippy Cup Games on Twitter on, and Instagram and Twitch. And also uh, YouTube.com slash Sippy Cup. And I'm streaming this right now on Twitch.tv slash Talking About This Network. But that is going to do it for me for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I raise my glass to you. Laters.